us perform a small activity to learn more about angiosperms. Activity Take some seeds of corn, bean, groundnut, tamarind, mango and wheat in a bowl. Add sufficient amount of water in the bowl to soak the seeds and keep the bowl undisturbed for about 8 to 10 hours. After 8 to 10 hours, press each seed and check whether it divides into two equal halves or not. The seed of corn and wheat do not divide into two halves, whereas the seeds of bean groundnut, tamarind and mango divides into two halves. The plants whose seeds can be divided into two equal halves or cotyledons are called dicotyledonous plants and those whose seeds cannot be divided into two equal parts are called monocotyledonous plants. Dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants show some distinct features which help us to differentiate among the two types. The seeds of a dicotyledonous plant are made up of two cotyledons whereas the seeds of monocotyledonous plants are made up of single cotyledon. A dicot plant has a taproot system while a monocot plant has a fibrous root system. The stem of a dicot plant is strong and hard. Example is banyan tree. On the other hand, the stem of a monocot plant is hollow. Example, bamboo. False, example, banana. And disc-like, example, onion. The leaf of a dicot plant shows reticulate venation whereas the leaf of a monocot plant shows parallel venation. The flower of a dicot plant can be tetramerous or pentamerous that is with four or five parts or in their multiples while the flower of a monocot plant is trimerous that is with three parts or in multiples of three.